coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Diego Sanchez and Clay Guida. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters identical in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's who does first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Clay, the carpenter, we And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Diego Nightmare Sanchez! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all costs. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quickly. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submission. Ah, it's crazy. Well, he 
continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing upside his opponent's head over and over again. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that's a strong slip there, and then the rip. Oh, collar tie. Oh, a huge block there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Just out of range with that strike. That's a beautiful body kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. He looks like Pac-Man taking so many strikes to the head. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Big elbow there, Lance. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, big punch, Lance. He is all about that left kick to the body. And there comes the separation now. Guida's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big punch from the clinch. And now he's got that tight clinch. Really timing is... Wow, actually got the kick now. Close guard. Looking for a guillotine. Fighters get up now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Guida gets the takedown after catching that kick. Nicely done there. Now let's see what he can do on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Guida ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. 
All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And they separate. Guida's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Slips the punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Nice straight punch. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. He's done. He's oh, done. Straight right. And now he lands a combination. Oh. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. He drops a big right hand after it. He may be able to finish his fight. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And the students certainly followed up on that attempt. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch land. Ooh. Lands the right hand. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. And he landed the right hand there. He blocks the punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. is now dealing with a cheat cut. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed as the cheat throws is crazy. Goes back to that left kick once again. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And they separate. Flush right hand is true. Michael engaged in a single collar tie. Oh, that big D, knee there! That knee hurt him! Big elbow there! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right hand upstairs. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. Oh, and potentially a critical takedown here. We just got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Both fighters back to their feet now. That was the end. Nice strike. Nice little collar tie now. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Working on a guillotine. Watch guillotine. Oh, and there's 
the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very easily matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it on the next one. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? And they separate. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing smart things. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. If he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. That knee might have landed there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. It's beautiful strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Both fighters throwing heat now. Takedown defense holds up. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh! Newsburg serves him up. Go get him. Oh, beautiful level change. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Closed guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Throws the right hand there. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Outstanding ground and pound. Here's somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Level change, the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Guido. 
Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and counter it. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there! Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the early rounds. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Got the single collar tie. Keep those hands up for me. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. Right, He's got so that here on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Weed is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Sanchez. Just over three minutes to go. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage. A lot of damage can be done in the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Guida going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Nice hammer fist. Guida's pass attempt denied. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Guida's right back to the full mount here. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. 
build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhooks, this is a great position for a top fighter. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up here. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now he's got the Muay Thai claw. Kick to the body by Guida. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet. And to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. Impressive. Good, good. Oh, nice strike landed there by Sanchez. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Unable to connect with the right. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Oh, that's a good right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Just misses with the jab there. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He won't finish his fight. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Guido. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Straight right hand, no good. Guida's his hook shots locked though by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh, man. Oh, he might be out. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound game. Sanchez is back in full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Guido. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Two minutes now to go in this one. 
Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Sanchez. Man. Sanchez is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Guido. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. And he's back up. Oh, single collar tie here. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Wow! Wow! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Diego Nightmare And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.